um, start at the beginning a little bit, and I'll try to make it succinct. Um, so I've been involved with Halo for about eight years. And uh, again, I was at Microsoft uh, running a lot of the first party properties as a senior audio director um, and worked on a lot of that stuff as part of the central team and also with 343 Industries. And so as an audio director, that's the person who is responsible really for anything that makes a sound in the project. So all the sound design, all the video, and of course, all the music. So when it was time to do another major entry into Halo, um, and we'll probably talk about this in the video. I don't know if we're showing that video, but we're gonna just um, kind of skip it for time. Ah, right skip up. it for so time. You, so I'll, I'll summarize all you, it. Buddy. <laughs> it's all me. <laughs> uh, you know, I had to give a lot of thought to what are we gonna do that um, is in the canon. A lot of things that Gordy actually talked about um, with Battlefront. It was the same consideration. You know, when you have a franchise that was born in 2001, you know, Halo came out right after 9/11. And uh, if you guys remember, it launched with the original Xbox. And it really heralded the return of America's, uh, I'd, I would say dominance, but you know, play back into the console market. And it was a huge event. And after 9-11, to have Master Chief kind of come riding in and that sound that composers Marty O'Donnell and Michael Savatori originally did back in 2001, it was a big event. So this is not a uh, young franchise. This has been around a long time. So to contribute to this canon now, at the time that we did, um, it, there was a lot of thought and uh, care that had to go into that. So that was something that was on my shoulders uh, in the role that I was in. So I thought about uh, partners, and um, there's, there's two stories. One is the Bryans. So I, I've known Brian Trifon and Brian Lee White for a long time, and we've done a lot of projects together. And um, I think we had talked about relationships, but it's also uh, trust over time and, and mutual respect and admiration that's built. So it's not even just sort of the like relationship, it's the like, I, you complete me. You know, it's that kind of, <laughs> you have the other half of this amulet. You know, it, it, it's like as a composer, again, I, you know, I am a conservatory trained musician um, and a composer myself. Um, so when people share the same aesthetic um, or uh, craft or level of care and attention, that speaks to me more than almost anything else. And so, you know, meeting the Bryans and doing a lot of work with them over a lot of years before Halo even, um, and then on some other Halo projects, there was just a lot of, um, for, for me, it was just a lot of respect and mutual admiration and um, trust because their, you know, their sound is totally unique um, I'm going to just blow some smoke over up you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> take that. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I think what the Bryans are doing um, and have been doing is, is just brilliant and unique and, and just, it's, it's a meritocracy. You know, when, I, when I'm listening to music, um, it's great to listen to the Bryans because it just cuts through everything because it's so unique and so strong, but it's also what they do is so grounded and in the craft, that balance between art and craft is, is there. And they have a really unique take on what they do and they're very committed to that. So that was an important element. But Halo is a very um, complex franchise that involves a lot of hybrid scoring. And there's a major orchestral pillar for this. And, and we're gonna, Brian's probably gonna talk about the pillars a little bit. But um, I wanted to get a, a partner that could own the entire orchestral sort of side or contribute that um, in concert with the Bryans. And uh, now I get to go to Gordy here. Um, I've been a huge fan of Gordy for a long time and I was actually a major fan of Gordy's music before I had even met Gordy. Um, I was sort of cyber stalking him before he even you know, was around. He's like, who's that creeper in the van? I was like, no, it's me. <laughs> Um, but I mean, again, it's, it's that instant recognizable, like, you know, wow, someone who understands their craft and their technique and their aesthetic and their emotional, um, soul and, and then the willingness to tackle franchises that are, are huge. So when it came time for Halo, I thought, um, it's gotta be Gordy and Gordy could probably talk a little bit about how, how this happened, but. I, I met Gordy and said, I love you, bro, <laughs> you know? Uh, and he's like, creeper. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but no, in all seriousness, it was like, you know, a lot of respect. And, and I said to him, um, maybe two or three years before, yeah. um, we're going to work on something. And uh, I want to find the right project and, and it'll land, but we are going to do it. And I think Gordy, you know, sort of nodded and smiled. It's like, yeah, that's what everyone says. You know. <laughs> um, and lo and behold, when this opportunity came, um, it was, it was like, hey, Gordy, you know, do you want to do this gig? Yeah. Just like um, it was just like that. And I remember we were at, at Akasha in Culver City, and I sat him down. And I was like, hey, dude, how's dinner? And he's like, good. And I go, cool. You want to do this gig? <laughs> <laughs> uh, which was cool. And. And I had talked to the Bryans, and, and, and they were kind of keen to it. And so for me, my, my job was, like, dream up my dream, my perfect dream team of who could create something. And again, the hope, and you, you, at this time, it's a hope, because you don't really know. But my, all my understanding of Gordy and all my understanding of the Bryans was these are wonderful people who are um, emotionally grounded, um, mature. Uh, they're used to translating the human experience to support stories. They're not afraid to deal with big franchises. Let's get them together and see if we can create a, a singularity. And so that was this, you know, basically putting this, this team together. And uh, I love always being right. <laughs> not always, not always right, mostly right though. Um, in this particular case, I think I was absolutely right. These guys up here um, were the perfect group of people, I think, to realize uh, what we want to do for the franchise. So. Yeah.